Yeah, now we got... That's the next goal, is to find him. That's going to be tricky. Oh, hello. Diego, what are you doing here? The captain sent me. Said you'd been away from the ship for a long time. Really? He shouldn't treat me this way. You can see I'm perfectly fine. In that case, I'll go back to the ship. No, I... I may need you to do some heavy lifting. You should stay now you're here. Uh, whatever you say, be quiet. I'm sleeping here. Yeah, now we have him as a, on our side at this point. So, what we want to do now is go back to the docks. Okay, here we are. We go over here. Oh dear. She's here Sorry. now. Good morning. This crazy girl is back. Why are you hanging around the dockside at this time? I arranged to meet a friend here at 12 noon, so I set off from home at 11.30. It's nearly 12 midnight, not noon. Oh, I wondered why it was so dark. Seriously? What is wrong with this woman? Do you know anything about Uncle Eduardo? I heard from my cousin that her mother was speaking to a friend whose sister knows the governor's wife. Just a minute. What was the question again? Wow, you are totally stupid half the time. I asked about Uncle Eduardo. Why didn't you say so in the first place? I heard he was recently seen in the Golden Turtle Inn. Wait, hang on. There's literally an inn called the Golden Turtle Inn. What? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Where's the Golden Turtle Inn? What kind of girl do you think I am? The kind that hangs around the dockside at night? Oh, that's not good, right? You should go home. She is completely... Ugh. She's gotta be the most irritating person in this game. I kid you not. Oh. Hello, who are you? I haven't seen you here before. Excuse me. Yes? I'm Morgaine Castillo. Is it okay if we talk? Oof. I suppose so. I'm Pierre Lacroix. You don't look happy. <laughs> I'm here to drown my sorrows. I'm a master tailor and my cloth delivery has gone missing. Ah! If I can't get it back, I'll go out of business. Yeah, that's not good. I'm looking for Uncle Eduardo. Have you seen him? Have you tried looking in the tortue door? Well, no. You must be pretty dumb not to have thought of that. It's better to be dumb than work as a seamstress. How dare you! I'm a master tailor, not a seamstress. Is there a difference? Of course, it's... Uh, it's beneath me to explain. Jeez, dude. Now go away. I refuse to help any further. All right, you insist. Now what we want to do at this point is go back out and talk to Sonya again. Yes, I gotta talk to this girl again and she's driving me crazy. Sonya? Good morning! Alright, Sonya. Why didn't you go home? That's impossible! My feet are like stuck to the ground! It didn't occur to you to step out of your shoes? And walk around barefoot? I'm not a street urchin, you know. She's completely over the dramatic side, isn't she? Do you know anything about the Tortue Door? It's French for Golden Turtle, of course. You'd have to be pretty stupid not to know that. Seriously? I mean, come on! That's a, that's going a bit overboard, that's for sure. Oh, I'm developing a real hatred for idiotic blondes. Really? That's something we agree on. So you hate yourself then, apparently. Oh, jeez, she is so over the top, she drives me mad. Now we need to talk to him again. Excuse me. Yes? Hey, why didn't you tell us Tortue Door is French for Golden Turtle? <laughs> it's pretty funny that you don't know. Seriously? I'm, I'm sorry. How are you supposed to know that? Unless, of course, you are, you do know a lot of French. Pierre, we need your help. Will you tell me where the Tortue Door is situated? 
I have been insulted. I refuse to help you any further. Truly sorry about the insult. If there is anything I can do to make amends... The only thing I want is to find my missing consignment of cloth. Okay. I'll try to help you find the cloth. But I need some information on the consignment. Important information like that goes through the governor's office. Back there again. I've already been in there. I didn't see anything like that. Oh, did you look in his safe? Wait, what? There's no safe in Drake's office. It's behind his portrait. Oh! I saw it when I delivered the island flag I made for him. The old safe behind the portrait he trick. Because he was trying to set a combination he would remember. Did he tell you the combination? No, but I told him to use something familiar as a clue, but not to make it too obvious. I know he's our governor, but the man's an idiot. Okay. Back we go to the governor's office to figure out where the safe is. Well, we know where the safe is. Get inside it and see if we can find this cons c consignment. Oh dear, look at this, they're awake. I'm not sure I want to talk with this idiot. Well, I can solve that. I may not want to talk, but he would. Diego, can you deal with these men? Uh-oh. Right, what's it to be? A broken arm or a cracked skull? <laughs> I don't know, I just, I like that, I love that. That is absolutely strange. Stupid coming from him. Oh, is that a time? We should be on patrol by now. Patrol? We never go on patrol. <laughs> you must be dreaming. We always patrol at this time of night. Yeah, you don't want to mess with Diego. Just shut up and move. You don't want to get involved with that guy. He will pal drive you into next week. Thank you, Diego. That was very good of you. So, let's try this again. Now, according to what they said, it's behind the portrait. There is a safe behind here. And, aha! Now, the combination. This is where it gets a bit interesting. There's a red butterfly specimen with a note card. Specimen 8. Hollowis papulus. Common species from Hollow Island. Okay. There's a green butterfly here. The card says Specimen 1, Papalus crabicus. Very rare green species from Crab Island. And this one. This case has a golden butterfly. Specimen 4, Bounteus papillus. Uncommon gold species from Bounty Island, the card says. That is the clue to the safe. Right, red was eight, gold was four, green was one. Bingo! That was easy. The cloth wasn't lost. It was collected by someone called Pedro Gonzalez. Perhaps this is someone Pierre knows. Okay, back we go. Now we gotta go talk to Pierre again and find out if he knows this person that took his cloth. Come on, this way. Let's go talk to Pierre again. This part is pretty much a lot of running back and forth, but then again, you could say that about the entire game now that I think about it. Excuse me. Yes? Okay, Pierre. I found out who took your cloth. It was signed for by a man called Pedro Gonzalez. That is impossible. Pedro is Anita's husband, and has been missing for a year. Hmm. I shall have a word with Anita. Okay, this got awkward. Anit, yes. Do you know where I can find the Golden Turtle Inn? Do you think I'm a fool? I'm not going to tell you the whereabouts of Arrival Inn. Oh, I see. Fair enough. 
Can I ask you about your husband, Pedro Gonzalez? What about him? I believe he was involved in a recent missing plot consignment. Oh, that's impossible. My husband left the island years ago when he was falsely accused of murder. Yet he signed for the consignment when it was taken. I think you're in this together. Uh, oh, that's a false accusation. No, I... Anita is not involved. For I am Pedro Gonzalez. Yeah. Are you serious Pedro. right now? Uh, how is that possible? Are you seriously telling me that you've been here, sitting there, this whole time, without saying anything to her? Oh, wow, I... Yeah, I did not see this coming, to be honest. This is just unbelievable. My face was disfigured, burned in a fire. I knew I could return unrecognized. My injury is too severe for you to still love me. I I'll always love you. We reunited That's them apparently. Matching, but what about the cloth? I took the cloth because I had no money. I'll return it immediately. No. He'll return it when you prove his innocence. Very well. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Tell me about the supposed... This is yet another task we're given. I was closing up one night when a drunk grabbed me and started molesting me. Pedro pulled him off me and, and dragged him outside. I was too shocked to follow. I wanted to kill him, but threw him to the ground and he banged his head. He staggered to his feet but was dazed and fell off the dockside before I could get to him. I couldn't reach to pull him out, and he drowned. Then the town guard showed up. That was really bad timing. And they assumed you killed him? Yes. The drunk was the new captain, you see. The only witness fled at the sight of the guards. I escaped and left the island. Ah, a witness, Do eh? you know the identity of the witness? His, his name was Nuncho, something like that. It may be a coincidence, but one of my crew is called Nacho. Oh, uh, what? That could be his name. Leave it with me. Oh, now this is interesting. So, we now need to go onto our ship and get this guy to explain all this. Where do you want to go? Just while I go on board. And there he is, right there, instead of the cleaning equipment. Nacho. Captain? Why are you scrubbing at this time of night? Diego caught me sleeping on watch. He says I can't sleep until I've scrubbed every floor on the ship. That's a bit excessive. Hmm. Did you witness an accidental killing at the Buckleberry Inn? Oh, that was years ago. I don't want to get involved. You're gonna have to, I'm afraid. If you're part of this crew, you do as I say. I want you to write a complete witness statement. Uh, if I must. You have a pen and paper? I'll fetch him. Okay, now we have to get a pen and paper for him to write his statement. Well, we can get that from in here. And if we look over here, pen and paper. Father, can I borrow this pen and paper? Of course. However, I have run out of ink. Where can I find some ink? I normally use octopus ink. Okay, now we gotta go and get some octopus ink. Now, it just so happens we have an octopus. Question is, how the heck do we get octopus ink from it? Where do you want to go? Well, actually, I had to use a guide to figure this out as well. I hadn't ha got a clue how to do this. So I had to look it up. What you have to do is speak to Anita again. Anita? Yes. Do you know how to remove the ink sac from an octopus? Of course. 
bring me an octopus and I'll do it for you. Uh, as I said, guys, apologies for that. So let's get back on with it. So we can get her an octopus, which we have in our collection. Please take the ink sack from this octopus. Yes, we want the ink sack. Here. Do you want me to prepare octopus soup? Oh, no, thank you. I'm always worried these suckers will stick in my throat. Okay, that's true. I'll admit that. So if we combine that with the ink bottle, combine the ink bottle with a pen and paper, we now have what we need for the witness statements. So let's go and get ourselves that statement from that guy. A uh, bit further. Where do you want go on board? And let us give Nacho the pen and paper and the ink. Give us your statement, sir. There we go. We got the statement. Thank you, Nacho. That's excellent. Now go and get some sleep. I have to finish scrubbing the floors. Don't worry. I'll square matters with Diego. Oh, okay. That was good. Very happy you did that, considering... Where do you want to go? What? Well, okay, I've got to admit, Diego is kind of strict, isn't he? Right, we got ourselves a witness statement. So let's go give it to them. To prove his innocence. Anita, will you come here? I have something to show you both. I found the witness, and he wrote this statement. It happened exactly as you described it. Yep, there it is! Oh, we can take it to the authorities and clear your name! At last! After all this time! Thank you! Yes! Thank you, Morgane! This is a wonderful thing you've done! Heck yes! Now, where is the cloth consignment? I hid it in a barn at the western edge of town. I was hoping to sell it to Captain Simpkins. Really? That guy again? Why would you sell it to Simpkins? I heard he'll buy anything that will turn him a profit. No questions asked. No one will take me on with my disfigured face. So I thought I'd risk taking the cloth to make some money. Ah, okay. Then Simpkins left the island in a hurry, before completing the deal. Hmm, I wonder what he has planned. Could be anything at this rate. Now let's have a word with Excuse this guy me. again. Yes. We found your cloth! I found the location of your cloth. It's being stored in a barn at the western edge of town. I know the place. I shall recover it immediately. You have my thanks. Where is it? And the location of the Golden Turtle Inn? It's located in the French Quarter. Although that's probably an exaggeration. It's more like a French 3 16th. <laughs> okay. You're kind of stupid, but I'll go along with it. So, he's walking out extremely slowly. So now we need to go to the Golden Turtle Inn. Which is in the French Quarter, where we can finally be reunited with Uncle Eduardo. We can finally meet the person that we have been looking for this whole time. Diego? Yes? I found another clue to Turtle Island. Are we heading straight there? The clue says Uncle Eduardo has the coordinates. That could prove tricky. We must find Uncle Eduardo. Without him, the quest will fail. Then fail it must. Uncle Eduardo was lost at sea. That's not what we've been hearing. I'll not give up hope. I was told Uncle Eduardo could be inside one of the inns around here. So you really believe this gossip? I don't know, but it's worth checking. The problem is that the place has a bad reputation. Yeah, you get that. I would feel better if I had the best second ever on my side. Just in case, you know. You may be a little green, but you know how to talk to your men. Fine. Lead on. I'll follow you. Okay. 
We want to go over here and go... Come on, that way. And here That's he is. The quad said we're supposed to find Uncle Eduardo. If he tried to fool us, so will... Oh my God, it's true. Look! Ha! Ha! Who would have believed it? We found him. We found Uncle Eduardo. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, about that. What the fip is going on all of a sudden? Uh, put me down. Uncle Eduardo, the entire time, was the captain's parrots. Put me down. You've got to be kidding me. I never thought I'd see you again. What are you doing here? Uncle Eduardo was a parrot the whole time. And he bought in a storm. The storm? How did you survive it? No thanks to you, Lamak. I was inspired to throw that coin in the pool on Hollow Island. All my wishes came true. Yeah, remember when we did that? Remember when we threw the coin in and, uh, yeah. We actually got our wish come true! Hello there, Mr. Eduardo! Uncle Eduardo? And there's the trophy for having the wish granted. Do you know Tanner's password? And there's the trophy for finding Uncle Eduardo. Password! Ah! Password! Ah! Password! Ah! Alright, calm down, Uncle Eduardo. I'm clearly on the right track. I just need to work out what the password is. And I think it's... Turtle Island. Ah, I want some nuts! Uh, no. Okay. Crab Island. Ah, ah. I don't think that's right. Buckleberry Tanner. Ah, Tanner! That's not the password. Okay. We need to find something we can give Uncle Eduardo. Excuse me. Yes. I'm Morgan Castillo. My name's Max. This is my establishment. Can I ask you about the name of your inn? The uh, previous owner was a fellow who found out about Tanner's interest in the Golden Turtle. Ah. He sort of made a great name for an inn. Why is the name in French? Because we're in the French quarter of town. Okay. Yeah, that's fair enough. That makes sense. How long has Uncle Eduardo been here? The parrots? He arrived just a few days ago. He's been here ever since. Okay, let's Hold talk. This. Grandpa left his ear trumpet at home. Oh, and his set of teeth too. Okay. Uh huh. So, Uncle Eduardo. Perhaps this will trigger something. Try this on! I wonder, Carmine. Turtle Island is located at. There are too many interested ears in here. We should head back to the ship. Oh, wait till the captain sees this guy! Am I dreaming? My eyes must be fooling me. Look who's back among us! <laughs> Uncle Eduardo, it's great to see you again! Uncle Eduardo, the parrots! Ah, Alessandro! You remember me! Oh, it's good to have you back! But don't you scare us again like that! Ah. Give us a peanut. Ah, ha, Morgan, you are right. Thank you for finding him. I didn't realize Uncle Eduardo was a parrot. You're ugly. Oh, come on. Don't be rude. You really are. Okay, here we go. Now we're safe in here. I'll try the password again. Carmi. <laughs> Turtle Island is located at a position 97 leagues south southeast of Crab Island. I will plot a course immediately. I'll ready the crew to set sail. 
And there we go! Now we are off to Turtle Island! Finally! Oh, wonderful! We appear to have arrived! As soon as we drop anchor and the mooring is secure, you can go ashore. I can hardly wait. It's so gorgeous here. I shall call this Beauty Bay. Seriously? What if it already has a name? I could rename the island uh, Briscoe's Gem, perhaps. Wow, I don't know. As soon as we return, I'll make arrangements to bring Elizabeth here. I will retire completely, and the two of us can settle here. Do you really want to get back together with her? Because let's be honest, she's not really that nice a person. Are you sure? Elizabeth's main interest seem to be society functions and dinner parties. Like we were saying! Oh, secure! That's our cue to go ashore. Morgaine, just a moment. I have something for you. You do? Take this whistle. It may seem that no sound comes from it, but it will call Uncle Eduardo if he's nearby. Oh, that is brilliant. Ah, but you know how stubborn he is, so it doesn't always work. Thanks, Father. See you later! So, there we go, guys. Wow, that was a lot of work we did there. But, that's all for this episode. We are now ready to go onto Turtle Island and hunt down the Golden Turtle. So, thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next video.